Hey y'all, thank you for joining me today for episode one of Hey Jordan. Um, today we're gonna go over uh, something somebody asked me the other day, my top three tools for embroidery. Uh, it took me a minute to get these first three together, um, try to base it off of how important they are for every embroidery project and how often I use them in every embroidery project. So, uh, number one is the R&K turning tool. The packaging looks like this. Um, obviously, its main use is for turning your corners out of projects for embroidery and sewing. Uh, I like this as opposed to a lot of other products because it's not flimsy and it has a browned ball on the end that might be a little hard to see on camera. But what that does is it helps it so when you're pushing your corner out, you can put a little more force on it without going through your project and ruining it. Um, so that's a great product altogether. But another thing that I always like to use them for is I use it as like a stiletto. Um, if I'm doing paper piecing in the hoop or applique or uh, water soluble topping, when it starts to try and bunch up on you, instead of having to get your fingers in there, which I try and uh, recommend not to do that, you can use this to kind of smooth it out and keep it down. So that's awesome for it. Um, it's also because of how small the point is, you can use it for cleaning out your machine a little bit. Um, it's great for going around underneath your bobbin case and getting that lint out. Uh, you can also get a little bit underneath your feed dogs to get that packed lint up um, and just keep everything nice and clean. Second thing is these Karen K. Buckley Perfect Scissors. These are the curved red handles. These are micro serrated. Um, they are super sharp. They're great at getting close. If you're doing any kind of applique that is really intricate and has uh, real points or close together pieces where you really got to be able to get in there. Um, you know, duck bills really can't do that. Where these can because they have that really sharp point and, uh, and they work great. Um, I always have these on hand. Usually have multiples open in the shop, um, but I love these. The third thing is the Clover Air Erasable Marking Pen with the eraser. That's the important part. These come in purple, blue, and pink. Um, this is really all I use for marking. Sometimes I will go and use chalk, but this is usually I can get away with one of those colors for, for every color of fabric. The biggest thing with these, because it is just a regular marking pen, nothing super fancy, it's that eraser. That's, uh, that's what makes me use this every time. Um, I'm very impatient, and usually when I'm marking something uh, and doing embroidery, it's for a video or for the shop or for a class or something, and I really need to get that purple crosshair out of the way and I don't have time to wait for the picture so I can use that eraser and have it gone in seconds um, and that's great and if you're impatient like me you'll love this so when I sat down to make this I actually picked six tools and I really had a hard time narrowing them down and these other three that I have I'm gonna tell you and they're not as universal for everybody I may use them more um, than you would and on one of them you may use it more than I will uh, and I'll start with that one. Uh, my technical number four, a uh, number one on honorable mentions, is the Baby Lock hoop screwdriver. This is nice if you have arthritis or if you have a hard time getting that hoop tight. It is a driver that has a bit on the inside of the end of it that's flathead, uh, and that fits right on the edge of your hoop screw and locks in place so you can tighten it down. Because of how long it is, you're able to get some really good leverage and, um, and really get it tight, even if your hands aren't all that strong. I don't use this a ton, but I sell a ton of them. People love these and it makes hooping really easy because if you don't hoop it tight enough, as you're embroidering, your hoop's gonna loosen and your project has a pretty good chance of popping out of the hoop and that would be a mess, so. Next on that list is Sulky KK2000. This is a temporary adhesive spray. I've used a ton of adhesive sprays in the past. A lot of them gum up your needle, they leave stains, they get tacky. Um, you can just tell that they've been there and this doesn't do any of those things. So it's great to work with um, and definitely something if you plan on doing t-shirts or towels, anything that you need to stick something, don't use quilt basting spray, get a bottle of this, it's, it's great and I would keep it on hand all the time. Lastly, is a product of ours that we have custom made. It's these rulers. Um, we use these every day in the shop for cutting fabric. Um, 
but it being a ruler, I also use them a lot for marking. So these are great. They have stickies on the bottom so it doesn't slip. An industrial handle that doesn't um, slip off or break. This is a little shield that's pretty cool um, for when you are cutting fabric. The rotary cutter can't slip over and cut your hand. And it's also got one inch grid all over it. So if you're marking a t-shirt, you can get that perfect placement, um, which is important. So I would always recommend picking one of these up too. So that is my uh, top six uh, tools that I would use. Um, if you're new to embroidery, they're super important. Um, I hope this was a, a good guide for you. And I will be doing this whole playlist, a new series. It's going to be called Hey Jordan. If you have any questions, um, email me, leave a comment, give me a call, however you want to do it. But uh, please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.